first let's work on our data so we will uh, prepare ethology logs uh, I have prepared uh, I have taken the data uh, for ethology of the, of the reservoir for each well in this exit sheet as you can see I have the fraction or the percentage for uh, sandstone and uh, clay at each depth so what I will do now is uh, to convert this uh, excel sheet into ASCII files to upload to Petrail project so we'll start uh, well by well or save as choose pie chart this is our exercise so we call it A10 Lethal, look, and go to save as formatted text based delimited. Click save. Yes. Do the same with the next well, which is A A15. Save as. Let's ch change the name and keep the same format and save as. Yes. I have the saved file here. Move to A16. Save as. That's okay now we have the uh, lithology logs for each well. We can see here. So we need to upload them to Petrail project. So we come first to A10. Right click and go to import. Yes. Click. Now this is the import uh, window. Uh, we need to specify the logs to be uh, loaded, so we click here, and we start adding the, uh, two rows. As we can see here below, we have uh, three columns: the uh, depth, sandstone fraction, and the uh, clay fraction. Uh, so we have uh, here the first column is uh, uh, is defined as uh, the depth column is defined as one so the second column is uh, sandstone let's uh, give it uh, the uh, sim uh, the abbreviation SS which is a sandstone and number of column is number two this is number one this is number two and the second one is clay and the third one sorry Let we keep uh, the uh, we keep the other uh, the, the same and we click OK for all now we have the uh, the, the, uh, the two files for radiology logs for A10 uh, has been uploaded and also if you go to global uh, well logs you will find a global template was generated for this uh, uh, two lithology for sandstone and clay now let's go to the second well A15 right click import make A15 do the same this is uh, the MD number uh, column number one and sandstone is number two and clay is number three and we have the data that's been uploaded under A15 
uh, there's an uh, important point I need to uh, mention here is that each time you upload new uh, data to the well a new uh, tool actually new to uh, uh, global uh, templates will be generated as you can see here this is the global template for uh, sandstone and clay in A10 and uh, sandstone and clay for A15 and if we keep doing the same for the rest of the world we will have a lot of sandstone templates and clay templates and this is not uh, accepted uh, as we must have only one global template for sandstone and one global template for clay so that all the other uh, logs in the whole world will be unified or linked to the uh, to one sandstone template and one clay template so we will keep on uploading the rest of the data then we will uh, see we will work together on linking each uh, uh, sandstone and uh, clay uh, log to one uh, uh, one global uh, template go to well C6 sandstone clay okay, for all. do the same for last well C7 <coughs> Yes, uh, we need to close the uh, original Excel sheet, which is this one. Yes. Uh, no, it's okay. Oh, play. Okay, for all. Now let's go to global <coughs> wheel log template. We can see that there are so many templates for sandstone and uh, for clay for each well. And this is not accepted as we mentioned. We need to keep only two, one for sandstone, one for clay, where whole wells should be linked to one template for sandstone, one template for clay. So what we do now is that we will choose this template. We call it, double click and we call it sandstone. okay and we'll keep this as a clay and now let's go to each well eight eight and it's okay it's uh, linked to these uh, two uh, uh, global uh, templates for a15 now so we double click on sandstone and choose the global template and we choose sandstone so now we linked sandstone log template in A15 to global well log of sandstone. So it's no longer SS or sandstone, uh, previous uh, sandstone abbreviation. For clay as well, we linked to the gray color, the gray color clay. Do the same for the rest of the wells. Sandstone, good. Okay. Uh, for uh, B1 doesn't have uh, data, uh, the Polish data, so we exclude it. Let's go to B2.
있고 go to the last one now I had all the templates for sandstone and clay for each well in ev every well is linked to one global well log which is sandstone and clay the rest we can remove them now we can we can remove them and if you want to check that there's no longer there's no more data available in these templates you just uh, click on uh, on any one of them and check histogram you'll find no data go to another one there's no data so we can remove all these templates because we don't need them anymore because they are empty delete just to all Now let's go and create uh, attribu uh, lithology attributes from well tops. So we will create attribute for sandstone and clay for each zone of the reservoir or, e or for every layer. So we say insert a new attribute, continuous. Uh, this is our uh, zones or tops uh, we come to attribute operation to the zone at level 1 we go look to be used we say sandstone this one we choose this one sandstone okay, I forgot to remove this one Now we choose the zone for which we want to create the attribute, which is tab it. Let's open the uh, width section first. create uh, the sandstone attribute and clay attribute for top uh, for top tablet we just highlight and deactivate deselect the rest of the uh, zones and choose only uh, top tablet and highlight it then click save and click run go to attribute and you can name it tablet and stone. Now let's create another one for clay. Okay, the rest is as the same. Capitalize the first one, then clay. Now we'll do the same for the rest of the zones. We go create new attribute again, continuous.
Now we deselect top target and go to top target 2. This is not level 1. Sandstone. Click these two filters and run. Target 2. Sandstone. Sorry, it's stormy outside, so don't panic. <laughs> it's uh, so stormy uh, today in uh, Tripoli. Okay, I will uh, I will stop here and leave you guys. Uh, you, you can work uh, on the rest of the uh, uh, on the rest of the zone. So I will uh, work only on uh, Tarbet and uh, Tarbet uh, two. Now let's go and display the map. We we'll go to Windows and choose Map. Let's display the structure map. Top Tarbet. Display the wells. I don't need the annotation, so I remove them from the map. I don't need to ball the, the line every five. So I click none. I keep only the well. Uh, then we will show the attributes that we created for every well. Show the well tops. Remove the dead and keep only. Let's choose target sandstone and target clay. Now we will convert these values that represent the fraction of sand and fraction of clay to pie chart by going to well tops double click and come to pie chart tick the circle next to the pie chart like this and click apply and now we have it we can change the size we can control the size from here if we want to make it bigger it's better for me now mm, that's good I can also sh show the uh, the symbol so I can see which one is sandstone and which one is the clay so the, it looks like the light pink color is for sandstone and the uh, uh, the red is, uh, uh, is for clay if I want to change the colors let's uh, give the yellow uh, the standard color for sandstone which is uh, yellow I can come from uh, the uh, cli double click on the attribute for tarbet and go to the color from info tab and click yellow you see the color changed and for clay we choose tarbet clay and we choose the gray color or let's make it lighter okay. yes this is good now you see the, uh, the, uh, the percentage for sandstone and uh, clay how it's represented by pie chart at each well now let's uh, work on changing the setting of the map so to make it uh, look better and professional okay we will uh, first uh, uh, we will make them the map look better but let's remove first the info box and the, uh, we will play with the margins to make uh, the map uh, cover the whole page 
so we go to uh, setting map setting viewport setting uh, from setting tab we will uh, change the mar margins value top right left and bottom uh, so on the top we will put the value uh, 9.25 on the right margin we will put 10.88 on the bottom 9.07 and on the left 9.46 and we click apply now it looks better you can zoom in to show a certain area of the reservoir or you can just keep it like this and you can also uh, zoom in the pie chart if you think it's not uh, uh, the view is not uh, uh, it's not it's not clear so you can change to 20 let's try 20 oh, it looks better. Yes. now let's work on the scale bar setting by going to uh, settings and go to scale bar setting we want to show the scale I prefer to show the scale bar setting uh, on, on the bottom of the map some of you may uh, prefer another locations maybe in the top or uh, the left on the bottom left side or right side but I prefer in the middle and uh, the bottom in the middle so I uh, it's already uh, highlighted the position is already highlighted uh, in the bottom or uh, the position is uh, det determined by uh, uh, so I just want to change the uh, offset to corresponding uh, viewport so I put minus 15 and click apply now there it is if I want to change the size and the uh, type of the uh, scale bar for example make it uh, simple it will look like this okay and uh, you can put clear field uh, as it was before you can put it uh, double clear field uh, depends on your uh, uh, on what you want so what I do I keep it the first one which is uh, clear field yes I like it like this and you can also get the change the number of inclinations if you want to three you can see that it's only three inclination one two three uh, you can put it six if you want it depends on the extension of the scale bar that you want okay you can also change the font but I keep it 8 for uh, time being okay I click apply okay now next we move to the um, symbol legend so we go to setting again and click on symbol legend, legend settings I want my simple uh, legend to be displayed on the top so I click on the, uh, uh, on, the uh, on the position small screen here and choose the top uh, to be displayed here and uh, ch change the offset to the uh, to this position to minus 27 click apply now there it is okay well it, uh, the symbol legend shows me the uh, pie chart components sandstone clay and the type of well uh, that we have on the map uh, so I can control the uh, uh, the width if I don't uh, if I want to uh, make the uh, width of the uh, s the legend smaller so I go to width okay and click 30 I small but it's uh, fine to me I think I can change uh, or okay, maybe we can make it a little bit bigger 30 okay so I keep it in the left corner maybe it's better uh, let's change the offset to make it uh, to, 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 to put it in this uh, position so instead of minus 27 I put minus 48 now it looks fine it's uh, uh, in good position uh, I uh, let's bold the uh, Make it, make it bold but uh, uh, no I prefer let's, let's just keep it as it is ok it looks better ok then click ok when you finish now we come to the auto to, to the auto legend of the structure map it's also uh, you, need to sh you need to show it it's already sh uh, showing but it's uh, in the bottom down there we need to bring it up and locate it uh, somewhere in the map maybe on the, on the bottom on the right side so I go to setting and go to auto legend setting 
is the window for auto legend setting uh, let's uh, bring it okay we, we can put it in this position here as it's showing the small screen uh, let's change the offset so that, br that we bring the um, the auto legend uh, up a little bit and here it is okay uh, I can uh, control the height we can change the height to uh, uh, okay for maybe 45 maybe yes that's good uh, I can uh, if, the, if this number is not is not uh, the annotation is not clear we can make it bold and we click OK now it looks better uh, okay so we can, we can also control the width but it's fine for uh, for time being so let's click OK now the last thing that we need to show is the arrow um, uh, is the north arrow which is uh, pointing to the north direction. Uh, it's already uh, there uh, no it's not that we need to click on it to show it and here it is but we don't uh, but we need to locate it uh, on the top right so we click on setting again and we go to north arrow setting this is it let's uh, specify the position we can put on the to as we said on the top right so we click op apply now this is this arrow indicates the north direction you can change the position if you want you can put it in the middle for example but uh, let's keep it on the right side and also you can change the shape if you want you can put the uh, north star basic big uh, north but uh, I like the, the, this um, the CBS one so I, uh, I keep it you can change the color as well if you want but uh, to blue let's make it blue or red and click OK Now the map looks fine. Uh, you can uh, change the size of the uh, well symbols and well names by going to the wells and double click. Go to setting style. Uh, go to symbols and start. Let's change uh, the level. Let's make the level a little bit bigger. So we make it uh, 20. Apply. Okay, it's uh, too big. I think let's make it smaller. Let's make it 15. Oh, that's fine. Uh, and let's go for raw uh, uh, symbol size if you want to also change the symbol size for the wheel let's make it 12 and 15 you can control the location so you, you can either put on the put them on the top of the wheel Now it looks fine. So uh, some some ways are covered by the histograms that we have shown, but uh, uh, th this is the, this is the map that you can now uh, uh, start doing your uh, uh, interpretation on the lithology distribution in the reservoir. So now you are ready to do the interpretation for lithology distribution on your map using pie charts. You can use pie chart to interpret different types of data distribution other than lithology, such as spaces, minerals fractions in case of digenesis, percentage of fauna and carbonate rocks, fluids volumes such as water, gas, oil, water. In addition to that, pie charts are very informative and useful when there are a lot of data and many wells in the reservoir, unlike the case of few wells or the presence of inadequate data, such as the case of newly discovered reservoirs. Since we have finished all the steps we had been through in this exercise, the map is now ready to send it with your interpretation and recommendation to your senior or manager or to present it to your work team. Thank you for your time and until I see you in next videos, keep on learning. Thank you. Again.